Hello, this is Reverend Don Lewis coming to you from beautiful Salem. And our question tonight comes to us from Jags1008, who asked my opinion on the difference between sidereal versus tropical astrology. And I rather imagine that many viewers of the vlog are currently asking themselves what exactly are sidereal and tropical astrology. Well, these are two forms of astrology, uh, the first of which, sidereal astrology, uses the actual position of planets versus constellations, while the second, tropical, uses the positions of planets in the constellations many hundreds of years ago, in fact, a couple of thousand years ago. And they represent the difference uh, which has been created over time between where the planets once were at a certain time in the year versus where they are now. For example, the precession of the equinoxes is a term that we use to describe this change vis-a-vis uh, -vis the spring equinox. In tropical astrology, the spring equinox is when the sun moves into Aries. Uh, but in fact, the sun has not moved into Aries at the spring equinox for a very long time. Uh, this is where we get the idea of the age of Aries, the age of Pisces, the age of Aquarius. Theoretically, it has to do with the shift in the sidereal versus the tropical zodiac. Um, regarding my opinion of the two different systems, the first thing I would say is that, in my opinion, astrology has very little actually to do with stars or planets. It has to do with cycles in time. But in the West, we have used stars and constellations as a means of denoting those cycles. And my attitude is that tropical astrology works perfectly well because the cycles did not change just because the actual position of the planets did. Because the planets do not cause the cycles, they were merely observed to coincide with them. Uh, this is why if you look around the world at other forms of astrology, you'll notice that things called astrology don't always have anything to do with stars or planets and often use very different symbolism to, uh, to denote the cycles of time. And although the term astrology literally does mean study of the stars, uh, I really don't think it ultimately has that much to do with it. It has to do with study of cycles in time in many different ways. Thus, for example, if you look at Asian astrology, you'll see that it's very different, but it could also be very effective. If you look at Native American astrology, such as used by the Maya or the Aztec, it's really, really different but also can be very effective. And I find it very interesting to use all of these different systems together. So I guess in the end, what I would say, my attitude towards sidereal versus tropical astrology is that they can both be very good. And that ultimately, I don't really think that it matters that much, uh, the difference between them, because astrology really isn't the study of the position of planets, it's the study of the passage of time and the cycles of time and how they repeat themselves. So I hope that that is understandable, uh, because it's a very complex subject, and obviously it's only a very brief discussion of it. Uh, but if you'd like to learn more about it, you will find it discussed at some depth in uh, our second degree courses. So, with that, I will bid you good night, and until next time, may you blessed be.